Hello, today we're going to have our fifth session on systems archetypes. This will be the fifth and final system archetype we take a look at, and today we're looking at one called the Tragedy of the Commons. Tragedy of the Common um, is a system that starts with independent and rational behavior, um, but it leads to a disaster. Starts with a shared resource, uh, a number of individuals using this shared resource, and each individual looks to um, optimize the use of the resource to their best advantage, that is to say, to grow their use of the resource. Uh, and the individual who grows their use of the resource captures 100% of the benefit of the growth of using that resource, but the cost of their increased use of the resource is shared amongst all of the people who use this resource. And so that 100% of the gain and only a small portion of the cost, um, that, that uh, cost and benefit drives increasing use of the resource and eventually can lead uh, to the, the resource being overused. There's a, a, a common sort of related activity, which is if you go to a restaurant with three of your friends and you decide going in to make it easier, you're just going to split the tab four ways at the end of the meal, um, you're likely to order more food and more drink than you would if you were just picking up your own tab because you want to be sure that you're not being cheated. And so this use of a common shared resource drives increasing you know, utilization. It drives that particular behavior. So the growth of every individual's use of this resource ends up abusing the resource. And the resource, if it's a renewable resource, the resource can be destroyed. It's the problem of overgrazing of uh, cattle land, overfishing of the oceans. It was the behavior that led to the uh, elimination, the destruction of all the trees on Easter Island. In non-renewable resource situations, you have uh, overburdening of the shared resource, and this overburdening, uh, as we learned from like Don Reinertsen and queuing theory, can lead to a reduce of efficiency and availability of the resource. In product development, if we look up to engineering as a shared resource, um, we see that it has a number of uh, people who are using this resource somewhat independently. You have marketing, uh, making requirements, you have the executive team, you have manufacturing, which has uh, needs uh, that are brought to engineering, and customer support also gives input to engineering, uh, addressing uh, market issues. And each of these resources looks to optimize their use of the resource, and this drives the uh, system archetyped of the tragedy of the commons where engineering ends up being overburdened and as queuing theory says its efficiency falls off dramatically. The antidote for the tragedy of the commons system is simply management of the resource. Instead of letting everybody operate it independently it's to put a management system in place which doles out access to the resource. In product development or in engineering this management takes the form of some of or perhaps all of uh, engineering requests, creating a single queue for engineering, requirements management, so it's really clear um, what is being requested, and then prioritization of all of the requests of engineering. So the most important resources are getting the available resources, and the resources are not overtaxed or overburdened. The um, Interesting thing to me is that these three management antidotes to the problem of the shared resource of engineering are the three practices, engineering requests, requirements management, and prioritization that are core to an agile product development system, a system that EAC promotes and a system that is finding increased usage and utilization even in hardware and systems engineering organizations. Mm -hmm.